Hello and welcome back to my so Mick, where playing station is. Uh, yep, we're getting hungry. Got a hungry warning. And my potatoes are potatoing. Look at this. Two potato, two potato, two potato. They're all two potatoing. No dumb ones in there. That's good. I'll let them go to seed. And then I shall replant... Maybe about 20 of them. I may have to eat a few. I'm down to 18% health. And it takes, I think, more than 20% of health to let them grow. So uh, I've just got to get an extra couple of percent before they um, to get me through to the next harvest. Once I get to the next harvest, I should be okay. But uh, it's a bit of a worry. Uh, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. I am down to 23 degrees in here. That shouldn't be happening. Um, yeah, switch that off. Uh, now we're going to do some, some sort of cool, I have had a bit of a think about the cooling in here. So I can, I need more water, uh, but I can just cool down the water and then hook the water to the room via a heat exchanger and just get some automation cooling down the water. Uh, although that is working, but, um, that is not powerful enough to use in the other room once the other room becomes a room and it's got to cool down things like the uh the gas fuel generator um but i could be able to automate the cooling down of the water automate a radiator with the retractable radiator uh, but i'll need stellite for that so i'll have to do a bit of building and uh See how we go. That doesn't go in my hand. It goes in my pocket. In my on myself. Um, you can have some CO2 plants. There you go. Uh, now I might actually pull out my oxygen collector and put that in the other room. I think that'll be the better way to do it. Because um, I need a hand drill. And wrench. Because the other room will be full of oxygen as well. So I think that'll just be a better way of doing it. So I'll take that. There'll be one less thing I've got in here producing heat. Um, right, so we are good. There's nothing in there if I remember where we're up to. We've got you, we've got 46 litres of water, and I've got potato seeds. 17%. Uh, Nice. Um, you can go back. Potato, potato, seeds. Uh, anyone else? No, no, seeds. Okay, well, I've got some of them going. Uh, I will have to remember to eat some of them. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, I really wanted 20 plants there. 20 plants will give me 40 potatoes, which is, is plenty. Um... So I'll need at least 20 potatoes, so 10 plants will get me 20 potatoes. I can eat them and replant the seeds, but that won't allow me to grow the gar expand the garden. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, that, yeah, I'll, I'll eat some. I'll have to eat some. I've got an oven for eating some. If it had power, it would be much better. Uh, but anyway, let's let's um let's worry about that later. Uh, and I probably should add a drink while I'm in there as well. Too late. I'm already gone out. Now outside we had I'm still relying on this, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, you're good. Doink. 
Now I wanted to pressurize the room. Stellite. That's what I had to do. So I had got to get some stellite. So I'll need to hotbox you up. I have heat in the in there. Plenty of heat, plenty of pressure. I can make stellite with that stuff. And I've got to run an experiment to find out what gases we can actually condense without any um, uh, special contra active controls on it. So, because um, our pollutant uh, was a failed experiment. That one didn't work. We tried just expanding, uh, doing that one by itself, just exposing it to a constant, a constant uh, radiator there and uh, there not enough of it condenses to liquid to actually clear the pipes. Now water I can expose uh, permanently to a radiator because by the time everything's condensed into a liquid there's not enough left to break the pipes. But pollutant isn't like that. That has a lot more pressure in there and uh, yeah, there's still enough, by the time it stops liquefying there's still enough gas in there to um, burst the pipes. So, um, I need to get the furnace running. Uh, furnace? Where do I want the furnace there? Am I going to move it? Gas fuel generator. Sterling engine up on this side. Um, yeah, I'll put it here. I'll hotbox it. The rest of the room looks like it's sealed. So, uh, you, you've got to go away. That's right, it can't go anywhere from there. You can go away. I think I've glassed all those windows. Yeah, that's right. So throw something metal at it. That's always a good idea. Uh, now I shall want some walls to hotbox that thing. I shall want some chutes to set up the furnace. Chutes. Uh, um, yeah, about 10 or, 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 or something. Uh, walls. Yeah, it just makes flat walls. Uh, not that many of them, but, uh, you know, a few. Now, input, I shall do the usual one and run it, wrap it around. I can stack a heap of crap in there. I need you to pop out there. Uh, need some more. That's all you're going to give me. Fine. Uh, I could put that on top of there or or not. Oh, got enough. A yeatable inlet. That'll do us. Ah, uh, so that is uh, shooted. Shite? Shite. Shooted? Oh, uh, whatever. Um, the, the walls. Uh, I guess I'll need some steel sheets too. Uh, so, I put you there, 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 yep, there. Um, I have steel sheets. Get those things outside. Uh, Mm, probably not. Uh, check the floor to find out if they're away. So, steel sheets. Um, I shall want. I shall want to be able to heat it up. So I shall need a vent. How am I going to put that in? Uh, so I shall want a regulator. I had some iron, which I've got plenty of. Oh, or one. Oh, shit. 
um well, it's one of them a vent passive right so i want to put gas into there um into that room it is nice and hot so as which way is that facing that way uh, nope nope let's put you there i shall need insulated pipe which i don't have it's there You and there, and you and that there. Should be good. And uh, I might need to actually connect the pump up to that, might be a good plan. Uh, right, so now I can take gas straight out of that tank and blow it into that room there. Um, if I seal up the room, it will be a lot better. Uh, should put one on the floor to make that OCD compliant shouldn't I uh, wink. there we go that's much better right and in the back I shall put an iron window which I think I've still got some on the outside of here Right, so if I grab an iron window, I know that that will be weaker than all the other walls that are in there. So if one of them is going to explode, it'll be the one at the back that vents to outside, and it's not going to vent all the hot gas into the base. So if we design it with a deliberate weak spot, uh, it kind of fails safely then. It just cools down the furnace and doesn't actually cook our base. Yep. Uh, you, you, and you, right, you're sealed. Now, I should, I should probably use an insulated vent on that. I'm going to seal this up. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, I might put a little stub coming out of there because I know what temperature and pressure it is. I'll put you onto there. Yoink. The vent will be able to fill that up and I'll just be able to read that with my uh, atmospherics device and it will tell me what temperature and pressure it is. If you push, oh, you've not got no power yet. Yep. Yep, that'll be a case. Um, the data is around that side. So I need to cable with my five cables. I need to cable it all up. So, you, you, you. Oh, and that's all the cables I got. Yeah. Oh, ouch. You can probably stop doing that. That's uh, more than I'll need for a little while. Uh, you. Still got power. You can get me some uh, cables. Excellent. Uh, so I shall need some... Yeah, I could probably isolate that on power, couldn't I? A transformer, I shall need a couple of consoles, a hash, and a couple of gas doodads. Okay, so... Let me get wiring up again. Get up to there. 
Okay. You console layer and the queue up. Right, that should get power to you. Oh, okay, that box is sealed, so I should be getting pressure in there. Particular pascals at 2000 degrees, and it is cooling down because the passive vent. Uh, well, no, it's because it was actually then venting into the room, so. Um, yeah, well, let that equalize with the rest of the room. Uh, yeah, good enough. Up them. Right. So I shall need some uh, uh, consoles. Oop, if I had some copper, which I have got. I want one, two, three. Once again, not a real priority, but um, I'm going to do it anyway, so shut up. Three and some gas. Power low. And no. Oh. Fine. Okay. Two, three, you. And I needed copper. Again. Now you uh, grab one of them. And a yeah, no, nope, try again. Hash display. Yes. And a hash. Doink, doink. Yeah, glass. I don't have a disc. Wow, who doesn't always carry around a disc with them? That's just weird not to do that. Um, so, transformer, that was the thing there. I wanted a, a disc Oop, and a transformer. Because I really need to redo my power grid pretty soon. I'm going to be starting to pop stuff. Uh, you. Mm, let's put it over there. My battery's over there. That's where I should be getting power from. that right now um I put that back to front input. Yo, you dumbass. Try that one. There we go. Right. We can go up to there. On, on, on. We want the furnace temperature. And the furnace, and the furnace pressure. Lovely. Okay. Um, I'm carrying around two sets of atmospherics. That was fun. Now, our uh, furnace is good. I can seal up these two here. Pressurize the room, get rid of you. 
and the gas fuel generator can pop into existence. Uh, which I put, put, didn't throw, put over here. So I need uh, fuel in on that side, exhaust out on that side. I can do that. You can go somewhere else. Um, yeah. Now, do I have oxide? I'll need, need to pressurize the room. Ah, oh, that's not going to pressurize the room. Um, okay. Okay, I can, I can work with that. That should be the room sealed apart from that window there. Switch you off. I'm now running on battery. Uh, you probably should go outside for a backup generator. In the meanwhile, uh, I should probably switch some of that stuff off. You shall get me some heavy cables. You can make it like a make two of them there because you got one gold. That's typical. Uh, right, so cable. I need a heavy cable. We are going serious now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, right. I could have moved it over one. I didn't have to put it exactly there. Uh, oh. oh, I've got more here. Never mind. Uh, wow, that's that's very messy. You so uh, go there. An exhaust, need a fuel in the back. Uh, power comes out there. Oh, if I put you down there, I can fit in my. wireless charger in there, can't I? That'll be a bit nicely. Okay. You're coming out of there. You really need to come over to there. Um, now we have... Uh, da, 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 da. Grab you out of the way. Now I need to get the fuel into here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Cables. Um. Okay.
need to get fuel. I might want to fit a regulator on that or a volume pump. Uh, yeah, that might be good for a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da, regulator. Now, if I put on a uh, regulator, go there, cable there. It's going to sit in the back somewhere there. I've got to see that. can see that. Okay, cool. Um, I'll be sure to put that in one day. Not today, though. For you. I shall put in... No. Like that. So I can come back later and hook in that regulator. Uh, that's on an outside wall, that should be fine. To put. Ooh, I shall want the exhaust from that to go into the hot pipe, won't I? I can save that. Won't have any water in it. Ah, awkward. Um. I've got to get out there, get over the fuel pipe, and get into that one. God. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of do want to keep it. All right. Ah, uh, see so you. Come up. And uh, over that way. Oh, that's ugly. Well, you know, ugly's my middle name. My parents didn't like me much. <laughs> uh, three more of them, that should do us. Uh, you, then I can put you onto there. You, have you. We should be good. Um, right. Now, I had to go check my potatoes. Go. Ah, wrong one. You up. I'm off. I still got a little bit of power. Hook up the last little bit of this, then I just got to pressurize the room. And I should be ready to go. Uh, right. Right. Now some uh, ouch. Fine. Now, check potatoes, pressurize the room, switch that thing on. That should be good to go now. It's got fuel, got an exhaust. I just need a room, pressurized room to put it in, and we're good. That's not a pressurized room, so I don't need to evacuate it. How's everyone else going here? Feeds. Oh, I've got 10%. Oh, so I've definitely got to plant them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, that's not. Uh, 
I really want to plant some more of them. I've got to get 12 potatoes. I really want to eat 10 of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now give me thirty potatoes. That should be enough to get me a few more plants and get me through to the next harvest. I'm just get ah uh, yeah, I'm shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just uh just um they bite the bullet but bite the potato I guess. Uh, yep. Um. Okay. Where's, where's my pot of toes? There we go. Okay. Well, let's uh, steal the water from the plants. Or I start getting a warning on that one. I already am getting a warning on that one. Well, never mind then. Still got 43. Oh, it's got it switched off. That's why it's not filling up. Yeah. Once again, I don't get much from these because I do have the Plants and Nutrition mod. This will probably only get me up to about 22, maybe 24%. I only get a bit over 1% from each of them. left <laughs> I hope that's enough if it's not enough well I'm dead uh, 23% okay uh, I could set up trade yeah No, I'm not. Ah, uh, no. No, let's pressurize the room. Oh, don't put it in your hand. Put it on your body, you twat. And. Low pressure. Oh. Oxygen low. Pressure critical. I know what I'm Oxygen doing. Oxygen critical. Uh. Jeez, it's not my first day here. I better grab me oxygen because it's going to start complaining about that one soon too. Right. Oh, battery is um, not happy. I need power on that. Um, now I should should be done. So I should be set to pressurize the room now. Um, so I just need to drop my oxide and it's not going to come close to pressurizing the room. I've really got to go mining again. Oh, this. Uh, okay. Let's get your scanner. I don't need that. I could I probably should put that back on again outside somewhere just for emergencies. Ah, that's right. It's the vacuum in here. Oh, it's not going to melt. I think... Um, I think I can melt them in here. Yep, there we go. Does it actually give me oxide? It does. Uh, that 
was not enough. Yeah. So let's. Still not enough. There we go. Now you can switch off again. Now are we all pressurized or are we being. I missed some. Uh, like nine kilopascals? kilopascals that's not enough for the no it's not enough for that one okay uh mining we go then quick mining trip for oxides and just oxides and see how we go Ah, oh, there's some oxides. Uh, and other yelling chats, right? Put more load on the batteries. Oh, and get some. That'll be fine. Oh, ouch! Now, where was it? Oxide over here. Underneath my base. And that'll probably just about do us. Because that's all we've got nearby except for those ones. Yep. How are we doing? And the battery's out. Great. Try, try, try switching that one off. Here we go. Now. Right. Four. Oh, 16 down this end. Come on, keep them going. kilopascals that should be enough for this thing we have power we have pressure that's breathable haha <laughs> Doing still a bit more to go. Only 40 kilopascals. Whoops. Um. That's all the oxide we had. I thought I had a ton of that. Now look at it. It's only not even 50 kilopascals in here. Uh, right, so now I can probably even hook up the Sterling engine. Uh, that should be delivering us a crap ton of power which I can't read from anywhere. Uh, but it's doing its thing. back up charged. I've got to figure out a way of cooling the place. Now, I probably could just stick that out the wall and put a slap a couple of radiators on the end of it. 
because we're going to be constantly generating heat in there so just a couple of permanent heat sinks on there might be enough to keep the temperature down uh, it's not as critical in here as it is going to be in there So uh, that's a doable. Uh, okay. So we've got our better power going. We've got this room pressurized. Um, I still want my backup power out the back. Uh, so now I've got to put my cooling in for the other room. I want my, uh, uh, my radiator. You are... Uh, the extendable radiator, copper, steel, invar. Um, copper, steel, and invar. Steel, copper. And that requires a stalite sheets, doesn't it? Which will require stalite, strangely enough. Um, which requires... Uh, stalite requires... Silver, silicon and cobalt. Uh, you're nothing. Silver and cobalt. We've got... Yeah, so you can go back to there somewhere. Uh, the other one can go into there. Uh, and some 47, 50 and 50. Right. So now should be able to eat, 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 eat. Okay. I need eighteen hundred Celsius, fifteen twenty seven, and ten mid to twenty megapascals. Better go switch the regulator off on the back of that. Then we're, we're hot enough. Need the pressure now. 10 megapascals. Oop, we're done. Okay, well that's that one done then. That I need stellite glass. That is um, uh, radiators uh, extendable five. Son of a um, two. Three, four, five. Yapies. And where's my radiator? Thank you. Okay, so you're done. Switch you off. I see a slight problem with that one. More oxide in there. No, I haven't. Well, there goes that great plan. Yep. You connect to there. Hmm. 
Sheets. I've got steel sheets. Give me them back. Um, I did not hook that in. That is still not going to work. Right, got my furnace, got my stellite. I have got my gas fuel generator hooked up. And. Now, I hook up some of them. I've got six pipes. I've grabbed a couple of radiators. I'll grab one radiator to start with, perhaps. Radiator. If I grab a pipe radiator. I've got one in the other room and it does cool down quite a bit. So, we'll yeah, we'll grab two. What the hell? Go nuts. 12 degrees. Let's not making a huge Handling difference. Caution. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get that. Oh, sorry. My bad. All righty. You are all a spectacular failure. So if I get enough water, I can use the water as the heat sink. Maybe use that to cool down the CO2 and the room. No, I really don't like that cooling down the CO2 like that. Uh, but there's the water. Uh, I can mount these ones. Horizontally, can't I? Can. Excellent. Later downwards, that'll be fine. Right. I'll put you on there. And you with. Oh, no tools. Okay. That's you. I just be able to extend that when it's I need cooling, retract it, and it stops providing cooling. And I can just rotate it to keep it out of the sun, not that that'll really matter. Excellent. I could just put it on top. Because that looks really weird. Yeah, I might put it on top. Ah, uh, crowbar. Probably a grinder. And then a drill or a wrench? Drill. Right. No, no, no. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll put you there. Right, so now I can automate that. And, um, yeah, it'll do us now. My room cooling. Uh, you just put in. on a couple of them. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep the place cool. I could put you back in again. Not really. I've got to get rid of these and get rid of that crap. Uh, right. I need to set up an experiment room too. So as I can find out which gases I can expose to the uh, space without them having 
without them exploding my pipes. Uh, so that is empty. What are we doing? 10 degrees. Oh, it echoes. Those coolers doing anything? Nothing obvious. Right, so now I can actually put in an oxygen filter out here and just collect collect my gas. Got to get the Stirling engine in as well. That might be my... Oh, that's a long way away from the battery. Oh! Put the battery up there. A bit of Stirling. Um... Uh, I'll put it here. Yes, yeah, so the Stirling engine there. So then if I blow up my furnace, I'll blow up my entire power supply. That's good thinking. <laughs> the sun switching on and off is quite trippy. I suppose we are on a vacuum planet there, so there's not going to be any sunrise and sunset. It's going to be pretty much just pops up over the horizon and that's it. Uh, right, so I want a filtered gas supply for my oxygen, which I can just pull straight out of our atmospherics. Where do I want that? Yeah. You lot off. I could put that absolutely anywhere. Um, anywhere at all. Uh, you'll be in the way. Absolutely anywhere. That's right. I need access to that. I need to move you out of the way. I could have it on permanent power. That might be a plan. Um, so, if I did have an atmospheric kit and I put it away over here, if I have you go into there, you could have the oxygen coming out over there, which means we'll probably have to put you to there. Now it goes in behind, come out front. Ooh. Let's see how we go. And you cutters. Uh, where is your power? I won't need to hook up your data. The power is on that side. Uh, um, get me out of my way. You can go back onto there. Back up. Uh, now a few. Mr. That thing go onto there. You will have not enough of them. Uh, you. So. You right in the way again. Um, uh, screwdriver. Nope. I've already done that. I need you and a screwdriver. Now we're good. Um, let's move you again. 
So. Um. You are going to have to go a little bit further. Then come through there. I can just come around the front. I'll just come around the front. I think that will be a lot easier. You can go into there. Which means you're in the way. <laughs> ah. um. Right. Uh, you... You can get out of my way too. Uh, you. Oh no! What the hell was that? You can come into. Get him away. You can come into there. Um. Wow, I made that a lot more difficult than it had to be. But, you know, shut up. Right, now I can shut them all off. That is just the printers. That will have to go to the ventilation system. Uh, we're back to 11 degrees. It is cooling down in here. Nice. Hopefully not by too much. Uh, you need to go to uh, regulator utilities. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, regulator. No, oh, oh, and a radiator. There you go. So that one I need to hook up to my room. Uh, you, you. They are. Uh, I got a regulator. What is in there? A bit. Probably left it out in the room. Uh, you. Can be emptied. Bye. Shit. <laughs> As I was saying, you can be emptied. Like that. And... Thank you. Put you into there. I just need a regulator. And if I had a vent, which I have a cow. I <laughs> still haven't got power hooked up to that. Hook up the damn power. 
Yeah, well, that was nowhere near as much as I thought it would have been. Got Twenty megapascals would have just about over, would have just about popped the room. No, nope. fifty-eight kilopascals. Uh, well, that's lame, and. about if I just <laughs> oh come on there's got to be a bit of chaos <laughs> uh, thank you thank you Now, if I put you there, put you onto there, and I can put the regulator. I did have a regulator. It went to, I got blown around somewhere, didn't it? There it is. Uh, nope. Here we go. Oh, piss. I can't get a, <laughs> get a cable to that now. Son of a... Ah, uh, it's, it's... Oh. I can... Yeah, I can do that. Put you... Over to... There, take out you, you, put you to there, there, and do you have more pipes? There we go. Put you up to there, put you to there, make sure I don't lose them so I'll file them away properly. Put you to there, now I can get a cable up to that. Pressure regulator. Yeah, yeah yep. You, you, oh. And you can go to 6,000. You should, uh, if you had some oxygen filters. Uh, um, did I have them printed out? I don't think I'm going to be that organised. Uh, from you. Oop. Oxygen filters. Uh, I go the cheap one still. I'm lost. There we go. We've got power. Now that should be getting me oxygen, which I can refill my tank with. And that's filtered oxygen, not the crap I've been trying to breathe uh, so far. I can get rid of my nitrogen filters now. Because uh, you are oxygen. Sweet. Uh, right, so I can now pull that thing out. And I've just, that'll be one less thing to trip over. Just that one there to trip over, which I don't need. Well, I can get rid of the bottle anyway. The fuel thing, just, you're just uh, using volatiles in here to crush. It's probably not what I really want to be doing. It's seven degrees, so it is actually getting colder in here now, just with those two events up there. 
So I'll have to see if, well, I suppose as my power use goes up, I'll have to use this more often, which will heat up the room more, which means I may have to add more on there or see what happens. We'll see how it goes. We're coping all right. Uh, so I've got to automate you so as you don't overcook that one. And uh, maybe get some automation on you so I don't have to keep keep micromanaging that and that'll be a couple more things I don't have to worry about that is yeah that's cool I still have an overpressure problem in here because I don't have any overpressure release other than my manually opening the door and letting crap out and you want power. Here you go. Go nuts. It's 78 kilopascals. I will have to let out some power uh, pressure soon. You can have some more CO2. Uh, which means in here we are we're doing alright. It's a tiny bit of pollutant, but yeah, we'll get over it. Temperature's still good, pressure's good, CO2's good. <gasps> have you potated? No, you haven't potated yet. But I still have 15% of health. I have my next lot of potatoes coming along. Uh, I've hopefully got enough of them there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That'll be 30 potatoes. If I eat 20 of them and plant all the rest, I should be good for another crop. And we'll have a few more in the next crop. And as long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's about all we got time for today. So uh, we're not dead. Day 27. I have eaten my first too many potatoes. Uh, yeah, that'll do us. Anyway, till next time, happy building. See ya.